welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. A fun fight. Super Real Matias, Liam Paro, which is, promises to be a really, really good fight. A fight that I'm really interested in in the 140-pound division. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes to you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticker below. The Patreon gives you the lock of the week. It gives you a ton of other uh, props, and you can ask the bookie anything. It gets you all the best betting information. It's just five dollars a month. Just the lock alone makes you money every single week. We hit the lock last week. We hit it the week before. The lock is easy money, and it's it hits every single week. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. On YouTube, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, super real Matisse Liam Paro. This is going to be an explosion in the center of the ring. I really like this fight. This is two come forward guys who like to punch with really good power. Offensive fighters, defensively flawed. Like this has the making of something special. It could be a quick knockout. Both guys can crack, both guys can get you out quickly. But this is a really good fight uh, for uh, for an entertainment standpoint. From a spectator standpoint, this fight is a home run. Super Matia, strong, come forward guy, freakish power, stands in front of you, left hooker, stationary though, right in front of you. He's got a little bit of movement, but honestly, not much. He's straight in, straight out. I'm not a huge fan of him. Defensively, I wouldn't teach my kids to fight like he does. Uh, but he, he's got decent volume, decent hand speed. He's got some of that stuff. What he is, is he's a hitter who's got decent speed and throws in combinations. And he's a wrecking ball. He's come forward. He's a blunt object. He does one thing, and he does it really well. He, like I said, he can roll with shots a little bit, but he gets hit a lot. And he gets hit in exchanges. He leaves himself so wide open in exchanges. I wish things were shortened up a little bit, but they're not. He, This guy is what he is. He's, he's a fun fighter. He's da- a dangerous fighter. He can have anyone on any particular, on any given night. He can be walked backwards, right? I, I don't think, I think he's a bigger hitter than he is physically strong. And I think that's going to be Paro's advantage, trying to get him to go backwards. If he can do that, now that, that that's a difficult thing to do because if he does stand in and he, and he does catch you coming in, you're going to come in, you're going to walk in on him. He's going to catch you. It's going to be a short night for you. He just keeps banging away. He does not stop. He's a relentless little energizer bunny. He just keeps throwing hard shots and avoiding him. is like avoiding daggers all night. And I said, for a, a, a guy who hits like that, for a great puncher, for a, a, a big one punch hitter, he's got really good volume. Keep by it well on the inside. He's got, he does good work on the inside. Limited head movement. He can be pushed around. Combination punch with a ton of power and decent volume and decent speed. So he is what he is. And that is a lot to deal with. That is a lot to deal with. And that's why only one guy, Petrus, how am I going to say his name? Uh, Anyon? Is that Petrus Anyon? Is that, is that how he said his name? Was the one guy who was able to beat him. Uh, only guy that was able to go the distance with him took a decision over him in 2020. Came back in 2022, about two years later, and uh, was dropped and, and beat up. And he's obviously a much better fighter. He's gone on to stop uh, Jeremiah's Nicholas Punce, and that's where we are now. He fought twice in 2023, once in February, once in November, and that's where we are with Super Matias. Liam Paro. Is coming off two spectacular knockout victories in a row. One over Brock Jarvis, one over Montana Love. Two fights he was probably supposed to lose, so he just keeps winning. And you can see why. Aggressive, off the front foot guy as well. Southpaw, physically strong, big hitter. Not really your typical Southpaw, but he's physically strong. Very straight as well. In and out guy. Basic guy. You know what he's going to bring, but you still have to deal with it. He's got a really good jab. 
Oh, I should say he's a left. He's a lefty, so he's got a really good jab, especially from long range. He's the better fighter from long range. Is the fight gonna happen at long range? Probably not. He's gonna come forward. He's gonna press, and they're gonna meet in the center of the ring, and they're gonna sit and they're gonna trade. And I think that's where the advantage is for Matias. I, I would say I I, I think Paro is the better finisher, and he and he may even be the bigger hitter. Not that it necessarily matters because each guy can change the fight with one punch, for sure. Both guys leave themselves wide open. So both guys are going to have the opportunity to land that big shot. Or both guys are going to have the opportunity to land. Now, I, I like the skills on the inside a little bit better on Matias. So I think Matias lands it. I think both guys are pretty quick, right? Both guys are pretty quick. Both guys throw in pretty good volume. I think Matias is just more prepared for this. I think he's a little bit better on the inside. And I, I think ultimately that's going to be the difference in what's going to be a really, really highly entertaining fight. If Paro can keep this fight at long range, which I can't see that's his path to victory. If he can keep him and he can kind of walk him backwards and keep the range, that's where Paro is going to win this fight. He's a better, much better long range boxer. Not that that's his strength. This is not, but on the inside, this is Matias' fight because that that's Matias'. And I wanted to pick Paro in this fight because I love the odds. I just can't see it. And the odds keep getting wider and wider. Um, so I'm going to go with Super Bowl Matias. Let's pull, let's pull up the odds. Let's see how we make money on this fight. I, I, I want to pick Paro because I'm going to show you the odds. And it's like I, Paro, I think, is a good fighter. It's just this is, this is going to be tough for him. Like this fight is, is going to be. It's going to be tough. It's absolutely – in order for him to win this, he's going to have to fight outside of his comfort zone and do that for 12 rounds and, and disengage. I can't see him doing that, so I'm going to pick Super Matias to win. I don't want to because he's minus 900, and Paul Rock plus 550 is a good bargain. I wanted to find – see if I can find one prop. I would probably feel better doing this. I like this. This is going to give you a little better odd. That's what I was looking for. Uh, I like Matias by KO, TKO, or DK, uh, or DQ. I'll bet there is going to make you 27.77. And then I also like the fight not to go the distance, uh, which would be a 21.05. So that's going to be about, it's going to make you about 50 bucks here, 40. $49 here if you put $200 down. $100 on Matias by KO, TKO, DQ, and another $100 down on the fight not to go the distance. I like this fight not to go the distance. I, I think that's a great bet. Um, This fight's going to end in a knockout one way or the other. Obviously, I think Matias is going to win it, but I, I think there are two ends to this fight. Not to go the distance, and Matias by KO, TKO, DQ. Like, that's, that's how I see it going down. I can't see it really any other way. Someone's getting knocked out in this fight, so I like those two bets. So, it, you know, normal one times bet on Matias at uh, Matias to win by stoppage, and a one times bet on the fight not to go the distance. So th those are the, those are the two bets that we're taking: not to go the distance, and we're gonna go Matias by stoppage. If this thing goes the distance, I I'll, I'll be. I'll be blown away. I I know, Matias. Uh, Paro has go the distance, but he's got the distance with a guy like Yamar Alamo, who is a mover, he's a slickster. I can't see him going the distance with a guy who's going to be right in front of you. Someone's going to sleep in this fight, kind of how I see it. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the best perks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Book comes at you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. It is June 11th.
2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.